So here is a, a so-called uh, cylindrical shell. It's not uh, solid, but there's a hole in this uh, cylinder. Um, suppose that its radius is, is approximately R, and that the skin, so to say, is has has a thickness of delta R. Yeah, and suppose we have a height h. Then we're gonna derive the volume taken by such a solid. So what we do is we cut up this skin of the cylinder and put it open and straighten it. If we straighten it, we get a picture on the right hand side. Yeah, well, at least for delta r small, we get the following picture. We get an approximate regular shape in R3 that looks like this. So it's a kind of box. And what are the dimensions of this box? Well, it has a height h and the thickness is delta R. Yeah, so that's what we indicate here. And well, the thing is, what, what is a light blue thing? Well, that's the outside circumference of the skin. So, if we are about, if we have a radius of about r, then we know that the circumference is about 2 pi r. Yeah, so, and if delta r is small enough, then the inner circumference is almost the same as the outer circumference. So the approximate volume of this box, if you take just this box of 2 pi r by delta r and height h, then we get as a volume v, uh, h times 2 pi r times delta r. In the next clip I will show that uh, the approximation by cylindrical shells in the first stage and the second stage comparing each such cylindrical shell with the rectangular box uh, can be used to approximate the volumes of uh, revolution solids and uh, that's a technique called cylindrical integration and uh, uh, we'll see in the next clip